Hello everybody and welcome, this is ZDS here bringing you guys another little tutorial video and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to use the program Pokehex to hack your Pokemon Generation games 1 through 7 uh, but I will only be using Pokemon Generation 2 as an example but you can do this for any generation of Pokemon you guys want me to show you how to do it with other generations just go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section down below and I'll get to it in the future um, I can't do this, you can do it you can do it with Generation 7 and 6, but I can't do it because I don't have Homebrew on my 3DS. So keep in mind, you need Homebrew on your 3DS to export the bio file onto your computer and export the game file on your computer and then do it from there. And I don't know how to do that, so please don't ask. I don't know. But um, if you guys would like to uh, check it out as well, I have another video on this topic, a similar topic to this, using PokeGen and PokeHex on a emulator. Or to transfer to a physical cartridge using an R4 cartridge, which I believe a card in the uh, top right, as well as a link down in the description if you guys want to check that out. But in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to do it with Generation 2. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open Pokehex here. Pardon the uh, beeping noises, by the way, you guys might hear, because I don't know how to turn that off. If you guys know how to turn that off, please let me know, because I don't. But I'm going to go ahead and scroll down here to my Pokemon Gold save file, which will be right here. And as you can see, I already, sorry about that again, I already got the starter Pokemon. I used the cloning glitch to get them. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to alter them. So you go ahead and right click and go to view. That'll show you the... Uh, the stats distribution and everything else for them. Um, I already hacked Flamethrower onto this one using this before when I tried to record this the first time. Uh, but the way to check if it's legal is you right click or left click the green arrow. Green arrow, I said that again. Green check mark. Sorry, I've recorded this video like four times and this is. Nah. Anyway, so what you can do is you can go ahead and select that. And I'm going to go ahead and alter its stats to be max in everything. I don't remember if 65,500 65, is the max, but I know it's very close to the max. So we're going to go with that. And then I'm going to set it to the um, over top of the syndical that I currently have which you can do that by simply right-clicking and clicking set. And there we go. We have a max stat experience or close to max stat experience Cyndaquil. Now, the another way to do this is to, another, another thing you can do is you can hack the Pokemon into the game. Now, the way I do this is by going to that, by going and selecting the uh, species. Um, as you can see right here, if the red hazard sign is there, it means that it is not legal. However, you can easily change that by clicking here for the move set, and that makes it legal. So I'm also going to paste this Bulbasaur into it and click set here. So now we have a Bulbasaur. And I'm going to do the same thing for my one of my favorite starter Pokemon, Charmander. Again, it has the red hazard sign to where it is not legal. But we can click here and make the moves legal, and therefore the Charmander is now legal. So we'll go ahead and set that as well. And finally, I'm going to do the same thing for Squirtle. Now, the Kanto starters are not available in Generation 2 without trading from Generation 1. So this is pretty much the only way to get them on an emulator, is to use cheat codes or to use a hacking tool. So we're going to go ahead again to this section right here. Again, sorry for that beeping noise. I don't know what causes that. Go ahead and click set. And there we go. Now we have the Kanto and the Johto starters. Now, another thing you can do, which is pretty cool, is you can uh, hack items into the game. As you can see, I already did that for the TM machines. But let's go ahead and do that for the items here. For the healing items, go ahead and select to give all. Select all. Oh, I can't do that. Too small for all the items. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and cancel and go to items again. And I'm just gonna go ahead and alter this item to rare candies. 
and go ahead and select the number 99 or 95 and save. And that's it. Now to export this save file, you go ahead to export save and file. File, go to click file, then click export save. Click export main or backup, either one you prefer. It'll open up the, the origin document or the origin file for this file. Click save. It will replace the file. So click yes, save exported. And then go to your emulator. Go to file and go to open. And then scroll down to the ROM of choice. And let's check our party. And there we go. Squirtle, Charmander, and Bulbasaur. Three Kanto starters along with the three Johto starters. Now you, I will also check my bag. And as you can see, we have 99 red candies now. So yeah, it's really that simple, guys. You can do this for any generation as long as you have the ROM file or the BIO file for generation 6 and 7. Correct me if I'm wrong on that in the description, in the comments down below. I think it's called the BIO file. Might be wrong on that. But for the emulators, um, for generation 1 to 5, you use the save file. And I will also make another video after this one showing you guys how to do it for generations 4 and 5 because it is... For generation... Yeah, generations 4 and 5 because it is a little bit different since it is DS games. But for generations one through three, it'll work the same way as it showed in this, as I showed in this video. So anyway, guys, that's all for this video. Uh, if you guys like to support the channel, the links to my Twitter and my Patreon are in the description down below. So support me if you have the ability to. Have any questions in the comment? If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. And until next time, this has been ZDS making YouTube fun one video at a time, and I will see you guys in the next video.